back again. The remix with your busy body. Hey, hey, this is hey, the remix. Hey, 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 things are happening. Crazy things are happening. Problem. Problem. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> Hi guys, you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Asi Darling. Thank you guys so much for clicking once again. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below. Let me know, gang, gang. Now, guys, we are back again with yet another episode of Keeping Up With Your Duches. All right. Okay, so our Auntie Judy dropped some new bombs. Mm? But first, let us wish the patriarch of the Edoche family, Pet Edoche, and his beautiful wife, um, happy wedding anniversary. They recently celebrated 53 years, guys, 53 years of marital bliss. And man, it was a big celebration. Of course, our brother and best friend, Yole Edoche, took to Instagram to celebrate his parents. Um, in his post, he wrote celebration of life, 53 years of marriage for our parents chief and mrs pet edoche congratulations daddy and mommy i love you deeply i thank god almighty for the life of our parents i thank everyone who stepped up um stepped out to um, rejoice with us may god bless you all abundantly okay so that was a lovely one and also may posted a message on her instagram she wrote um Please join me to celebrate the great Peter Doche and his adorable wife. We are grateful to the Almighty for the gift of life. 53 years and counting. May God continue to strengthen you both and give you peace. Okay, so a lot of people, you know, these are men now. People were in her comment section. And one particular comment that stood out to me was Rita Doche, of course. That's her her father-in-law's um what would I call it his brother's wife okay so um Rita Doche wrote in her comment she put um, a lot of clapping emoji and wrote your home forever uh, May, uh, May of course um, replied with love emoji guys you know that it was alleged that it was Rita Doche that actually followed Uncle Yo to go and pay that thing whatever it was small thing on her head and whatever to pay for Judy. Whether it's bride price, whether it's dowry, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It was alleged by Gist Lover that Rita Edoche was the one. So see her in this comment section. I'm like, sis. Hmm. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> let me know your thoughts, so because uh -huh. um, moving on, of course, our Auntie Judy had to drop her own now. Of course, uh -uh, it's easy. She now wrote happy 53 years of marital bliss to a living legend, Peter Doche, and our beautiful mommy, Chief Barrister Mrs. Um, Josephine Doche. May God Almighty continue to bless your lives with good health and everlasting love. Amen. Congratulations, Daddy and Mommy. We love you. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You will know that. At this point, with all the brouhaha, seems like Auntie Judy is here to stay, stamping her feet, making sure that she wins in all the wife material related matters, of course. So she had to be there. Okay. Well, online in-laws went in on you. Online in-laws did not give you British space because it seemed like everything he did that week was just was just gassing people up. So people came for him from dragging him that okay you you're celebrating your parents what of you do you can you relate to marital bliss you know that kind of thing okay they were dragging him and some people were even saying um now he, why is he celebrating when he cannot relate based on he has two wives and um others said he's not wearing their shui because they had like an ashwebi and isha guda um his other brothers wore and he didn't wear it so somebody was like it's because he had to share it amongst his two wives and they gave him only a small patch so i'm going to put a picture of three other sons of peter docheda of course wore their shui and in you fashion, I knew that all these things, and that's why I, I personally initially used to say, um, you should switch off his comment sections because there's nobody that it will not get to at some point. There's nobody that it will not get to. No matter what, no matter how big you are, no matter how, you know, up there you are, these comments can get to people, okay? So in you fashion, he stylishly responded by posting a picture of himself and the eldest son the eldest son is called leo edoche okay so of course he's most likely in his 50s and you being the last born is 40 because if the parents are celebrating 53 years and this is their first child he might be 53 or 52 okay 
So um, you posted that he wrote first son and last son with the legendary father looking on, blessed family. I love this man, my brother, Leo Edoche. I call him the big Leo. We have a huge history together from way, way back. I'll bring the gist later for today. I just want to say thank you to God Almighty for the life of my parents and every member of our family and to every lover of the um, Edoche family. Thank you. Okay, that was his post, guys. Now that you get the gist, okay the internet they shall saw it and they continued <laughs> they continue because um this uh i feel like you know he the other sons of peter Duchy are very calm we have the artists we have like quiet quiet people okay so people are still like no you disappointed um your your father you're dragging your father through the mud which of your brothers have two wives and on and on and on like clockwork this is where since people have gotten the backstory this is where we're now coming like clockwork, Auntie Judy did what only, only Auntie Judy can do. Okay, whenever it seems like the internet is dragging you, Judy has a way. Let me just explain what she did. So she decided to stand up for her man in the way she does best by showering him praises. Remember the time that he unfollowed me back? She came out, now man, you be hailing him, or do good this, or do good that. So now it seems like internet is dragging him too much. She now came out with a story. Of her career and how he changed her life okay so in her post she wrote one of the challenging and also most exceptional thing about being an actor is not just being able to interpret your role but also becoming your character completely there's a reason people think of mercy she now puts at mercy johnson okoje when they watch my movies she's one of the realest and exceptional nollywood um actresses ever created okay so most of judy's movies are like a representation of the kind of acts that mercy johnson and like if you watch judy's movie you'd be like this person is just trying to mirror mercy johnson so that's what she's saying here that is because mercy johnson is um, one of the most exceptional create, um, um, creatives in the industry. Um, she continued by saying, I wasn't this deep and real in my interpretation of a character until I was directed by His Excellency, Yule Doche. Oh, he brought out the extraordinary act in me. I am proud to say that he molded me into the actress that I am today. And God will continue to bless you for me. Once I'm producing, it's extremely difficult to distract me with anything else because all my energy, focus, and time, because um, I direct all my energy, focus, and time to it till the job is completed. Watch any movie produced by Judy Austin. Then you will understand why lots of people are trusting me with their money. I thank God for his grace, mercies, and his grace, mercies, and love towards me. I cover my production with the blood of Jesus. Watch out for this uh, masterpiece. Okay? Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, you responded. He said, thank you for appreciating my work. You're doing well. Keep growing from strength to strength. Ijele Odogu. Guys, I need your thoughts. <laughs> I need your thoughts. Like, I feel this is just clockwork. You get. Let it. Let, it's giving me and you against the world kind of vibes like okay since people are dragging you i'm here with you i'm standing for you and all of that i feel like at this point judy should stop fighting haters or enemies i mean we get it relax relax you know i don't know but guys let me know your thoughts i don't know relax because it's not even professional of you to come out and say he molded you brought out the deal like you in See, um, initially she came out and she was saying that she needs to say her side of the story, her side of the story. Guys, do you feel this is the side of the story? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is this the side of the story? Where she's saying that she wasn't all this until she met him and he, she became molded as an actress. If you look back to Judy's movies, it's when she started acting proper, proper, it goes way back. So is she trying to like um, confirm what Uche Ubodo said about she being with you for six years plus? Because she didn't just start acting yesterday. Her exceptional parts, quote unquote, didn't just start. She didn't just start producing. Okay, so if she's going to put it like, oh, she became all this when she met him, we are taking it all the way back. Do you get because we can do research and find out all her movies, how she started, and all of that, and we'll see that man, this thing, this matter, Teo, it's not, it's no longer a joke, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And you know, fifty three years, man, it's a lot, especially now that it seems like all marriages are just falling apart in this day and age. 
we really want to wish Peter Docher and his wife, Chief Peter Docher and his wife, um, happy married life. Um, it is not it is not easy. In fact, their their wedding anniversary is older than a lot of us. So that shows you that shows you a lot. Right now, a lot of people, the moment they do ten years, it's like you've tried. When you do ten, you've tried. But what do you guys think about this Judy's um? post you know she said she, she was going to tell us her side of the story is this the side um do you feel like um like what i said is has an atom of truth you know when it seems like he's down because people are dragging him it's it's it almost seems like clockwork judy is going to put a post kind of praising him you know um fanning his ego and i feel like yule is that kind of person that you need to always praise and shower all these public praises on so he feels like he feels capable i know that it's not easy a lot of guys are like that though but because their own situation now is out in the public um it's it's it, it's somehow you know it's somehow especially with the way things are in the house what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and of course our may is doing proper like she's doing so well she has just been chill she was in port harcourt guys i won't even lie to you i was thinking i said should i even reach out should i go and see her i'm so afraid though i don't want to go i want to be like in my head i should have gone i should have done a fangirl moment but i was also like you know what let me just continue to analyze this thing in proxy because i don't want the station whereby tomorrow i'll go and see her now people say oh you are going to you're siding me now because you people have met and I'm not the kind of person that is going to meet me and ever ask her, oh, what's up with your house? What's up with you? I don't even do that. At least for my friends too, they know me. Uh, unless you tell me you're pregnant, I may not even know. Like I'm that kind of person when it comes to all of this. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because I'm supposed to even hit Lagos very soon. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I have reached out? It's kind of, it will be weird though. Like I'm even thinking of it. I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> i'm laughing okay guys you know that we have been following this story from the beginning i need your thoughts in the comment section thank you so much for watching i remember your girl acidally hope you enjoyed this video i have a whole playlist of the keeping up with the doce series you can check it out please make sure to like this video comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye guys